Hello and welcome to this video presentation. My name is Yuri and in the next minutes I would like to present to you how we help manufacturing companies to automate their sales and engineering with the use of our 3D online configurators. First of all, let me explain what is Highstruct. Highstruct is a platform where customers, sales representatives, as well as engineers understand each other thanks to 3D representation of the product, mostly buildings, uh, and can do various jobs based on the role in the complete process of the uh, design of a product. Nowadays, the demands for sales and engineering are increasing. Everybody needs fast response time, needs complex solution and economical design, which puts a stress to the experts like you who need to serve the customer in a quick manner uh, with the optimal solution and with the complete solution as fast as possible in the cheapest possible way, which differentiates the company from other competitors. So therefore, we created Highstruct as a platform for 3D online configurators that can deal with such problems. We create structural design software that can help you with these tasks because Highstruck is a parametrical model configurator with deep hierarchy where we always find a tailor-made solution for each client including FAM, CAD, price automation, everything in one model, in one cloud-based application that could be tailored to your needs. Uh, Highstruck Building Configurator is one of the ready-to-use products that is developed on the Highstruck platform. It serves the customers and sales representatives to quickly prepare a 3D model of a building and produce variable results like bill of, of materials, uh, CAD drawings, export of uh, IFC files for a BIM process, sales quote, purchasing lists, and everything that is basically needed uh, for the sales process. Uh, apart from that, we have uh, various extensions that enables us to fit Highstruck into the existing process flow of your company and to utilize its benefits at the places where it is the best valuable when it when it is worth the value to keep your current systems and to improve the parts that could be improved with this uh, automation since we are all structural engineers the high struck is not just a 3d visualization tool of any product we focus on the analysis as well so that we are able to run the um, structural analysis do the uh, structural code checks and op various optimizations because we are able to incorporate this advanced analysis method into the same application as well enabling you to cooperate with other systems other, other softwares and to get the result as fast as possible with the optimal solution for the client the sales quote automation is absolutely the well the most important part of the complete process because if you have this nice 3d model you have all the information about the model you can very easily prepare a sales quote that is fit to each customer that is made quickly and that is processed uh, in, a, in a manner that the customer feels a lot of satisfaction from your service so let me now explain exactly how it works in the live presentation our customers usually put uh, the link to the configurator on their website so that their website visitors can easily start to design directly from their website which means that it can open an application like that where you can see in front of your eyes the model that you would be requesting it's a vital 3d model where you can rotate it go from various sides look from above or even look inside and see the individual elements from which the building is composed on the right hand side you also see the individual buttons that can enable or disable some of the parts of the building so that you can see how is it composed you can see the structure but you can see also the panels the walls the flashings secondary structure and so on 
On the left hand side you have the possibility to play with various input parameters and to get the building you require. So if we start with the building dimensions you can click on the building and select your building width and length. So let's say 54 feet uh, would be the building width and immediately uh, the model is changed so that you can see how does it look like if uh, if you selected this or another value. As a next step we change the length to let's say 90 feet and immediately it is again changed. There are also possibilities to play with the roof on, or the slope, let's say 3. And when it is ready, you can proceed to other input pages like base, because the configurator has incorporated internal rules so that he knows how to create the building. He knows that if it is this length, he creates this number of base. Uh, here are the columns on the gable wall. You need more columns, you need rafters. This is automatically generated by the configurator out of the input parameters, which are on the third page sheeting so that here the customer can choose whether he uses isolated or, or non-isolated sheeting, whether the orientation of the panels should be horizontal or vertical. So we can change it, for example. Or what is the color of the building, if it is a single color or if it is somehow um, with a pattern that means two colors, for example, that the second uh, row could have red I'll choose it here from the list of the available colors, let's say RAL 3000, and so that you can create the visualization of the building what you like. Uh, in the openings input page, of course, you can input on the certain positions that are represented by these buttons, certain types of openings, which could be windows, doors, sectional doors, I'm going to choose that, uh, sliding gates or the sheeted openings. Uh, here I specify the dimensions, which could be somehow limited according to the product range that is offered to the customer, or which could, which could have any value. Uh, oh, this is big, uh, right too big, so I make it nine feet only. And you can see that it's overlapping. You can very easily click on that and change it again. These buttons are here so that you can easily put it in between columns and you don't have any collision with the columns or rafters, for example. So if I put door here, again, it could be very easily put in the middle so that you don't have to specify the position. There is, on the other hand, the possibility to specify the position more precisely. But for the basic input, it is as easy as this. There are possibilities to input openings on roofs or the roof ridge. So let's say I will add a, a skylight, ridge skylight, uh, 18 to 54, and put it in the middle of the building. Thus, here it is. Well, uh, at the accessory page, you uh, have the possibility to change the color sort of of the flashings so let's say you'll choose the same as the pattern color uh, add some ventilators uh, canopies um, cage ladders and so on some decorations like the cars or, or uh, trees all around the building so that you compose the 3d visualization and Next to the last page structure, here you can see that the building is composed of columns, uh, beams, purlins and framings around the openings, which tells more to the advanced users, which we'll see in the next step. So at the end of the game, of course, there is a possibility to send a quote request where you specify your uh, identifications and you can say, okay, I'm interested in such a building and please send me a quote. So I'll say that the realization here is this one and I'm going to send an inquiry, which means I have to fill in the information about myself. I struct here, Podval. Podval at high struct dot com phone uh, city prague country czech republic zip code 
and I send an inquiry. At this moment, the inquiry is registered in the system and a confirmation email is sent both to myself and to the sales representative who is responsible for processing of the quotes. I can go back to the manufacturer page or I can check my email where I get a message about the uh, already submitted quote request. This is how it looks like. There is an information about the customer and there is a picture of the building that is requested. And because the sales representative receives such a notification about a new incoming request, he can log into the configurator in his own view as a logged user under a certain user account registered on an email address. And he sees that there is a new quote request and can process it. Uh, the quote requests that are not already processed are listed here as well as those they are, they, they are, they, those are uh, already uh, created uh, by the sales representative. So I can prepare a new quote for this one and check what is the building that the customer requires. And I can contact him and talk about the, the building and, and the individual details. Because for example, I may say, okay, uh, look, uh, dear Mr. Porval, this uh, sectional door is not a standard one. We can offer you a rectangular door that are, let's say, nine to nine feet. So if you uh, if you agree, I would change that in the visualization and the customer on the phone says, yeah, there's absolutely no problem. Or maybe we can go to, to the sheetings and say, well, this is the default stem wall height. Maybe you would prefer to have it smaller because, well, this is just too high and you, you need for, for anything special this uh, type of stem wall. So I would decrease it. The customer says, okay, I was not just not sure where to make it because the locked user has much more possibilities than the standard customer. He has even the possibility to change the input from basic to advanced to see more advanced features like the building extensions, for example, here, so that you can add wall extensions, wall cutout, roof extensions, to see more possibilities on the sheeting side to change the individual plane individually, uh, change the individual panel even, so that I may say, okay, maybe if we change the number, the color of the top of the of the roof here as well, it would be nice uh, if you if you have such a possibility. So these are the these are the options that are under the uh, advanced mode, together with the possibility to print various outputs. Because as a locked user, I don't need to request. Quote. I don't need to submit a quote request. On the other hand, I have a various reports that are available here, like the project summary. We already saw that in previously uh, the one page of the summary of the already configured building, building views. That means the side view, front view, and accelerometric view from all the sides. Uh, DXF file for AutoCAD, for example, IFC file from for for BIM softwares or the list of material, primary structure, secondary structure, uh, sheetings, uh, list of openings or flashings to prepare a nicely fit sales quote. It takes a few moments till these reports are generated, but then we have a list of flashings, for example, where we see what kind of shapes are there, in which colors, what is the quantity and the place for uh, the unit cost and total cost of uh, each individual element on the whole uh, list of openings where you can see what which which openings are inputted uh, in which dimensions and what could be the costs again here is the sheeting summary report where we see how many panels uh, in which area and or individual walls and roofs uh, which panels, which type of panel, uh, which, in which color and which quantity together with the concrete for the stem wall and the uh, uh, drawing where we see the layout of the panels, which of them needs to be cut, in which uh, direction they need to be cut, how many are there all, uh, around the openings as well, uh, which panels do we need to calculate with till the roof side and also the the report like the building views 
as a PDF report where we can place the company logo, the information about the customer and the views from sites uh, together with the top view and axonometrical view that can be sent to the customer or nowadays more popular to share a link uh, to the 3D uh, visualization because we did some changes the customer should be informed about it so if I go to the top left corner and create a link for review I have a a link with a private key that can be sent to the customer. I open it in a, in a separate window like previously. And he sees immediately what exactly is the look of the building nowadays. He cannot change anything. This is for the review only. So he sees all the individual elements. He can walk inside, uh, rotate the building, uh, see, see the dimensions, whatever needed but he cannot change anything himself but talking on the phone we can say well what if we put the roof a bit darker and the customer says yeah please try and the sales representative in his um, model go can go to the sheeting part can choose another color for the roof so let's say uh, let's say around 9007 uh, 9, and just say to a customer please refresh your page and he press F5 does a refresh of the page and he sees immediately what has been changed so that immediately we can talk and we can fine-tune the model to the very fine look that is necessary to the customer great so at the end there is the management of all the projects that I can create myself for the customer. There is a management of the, of the quotes. And it can be therefore used internally by the sales team only. And we share the links to, with our customers and PDF files and the, uh, the other reports. Or it can be published on the website to collect quote requests from the website visitors. Back to the presentation. Since uh, there is a wide range of uh, configurators that we already developed, so there is a wide range of customization that is available for all of our configurators. And all the current customers that utilize the configurators, either internally or externally, uh, face significant time increases, uh, sorry, time savings, because, well, we cannot automate 100% of the projects I have to be open but even if we automate about 90% of the project we gain a lot of time for a very specific ones and it is reasonable to adapt this kind of configurator for your job too so I'll be very pleased if you would like to test the configurator yourself and think about utilizing it for your own usage Thanks for watching and if you have any questions please do not hesitate to contact me. I'll be happy to help. Bye.